Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Johnny Jones here with another episode of Fire Promoter Complete. Guys, last time on the program we had a heck of a showing. In the opening bout, Taka Mikanoku and Koichiro Togashi, two members of Kayentai, took on the former tag team champions B. Priestley and Paul Collins. Koichiro Togashi had got a singles victory over Paul Collins the month previous at the Great American Bash. And in that contest, that tag team match, Togashi knocked Paul Collins unconscious. So that feud, uh, which is apparently a thing, will continue going forward. Assuming Paul Collins is uh, able to, you know, be uh, ambulatory. Also in action, David Houston and Hiro Mikami. Houston and Mikami were set to be tag team partners with Jack Howard in the sim in the main event in the semi main event, and they could not coexist backstage. Houston challenged Mikami to a match right then, right there. They left Howard backstage. He had to find other tag team partners. David Houston wanted a match with Hiro Mikami. He wanted to challenge for the junior heavyweight title Hiro Mikami has held, who he, what he gained in uh, July. Hiro Mikami, the man David Houston has never been able to get past. Hiro Mikami, the man David Houston beat in a five-star classic in that second contest there of the evening. Also in action, Jeff Bryan and Thomas Walker got a big win over former number one contenders for the tag team titles, former challengers for the tag team titles, Matt Robinson and Steve Corino. Corino took the fall on that one to uh, Thomas Walker. Matt Robinson, probably not very happy with Steve Corino. Corino, he views as having lost their last two matches, even if he maybe didn't take the fall in both of them. So Steve Corino... Uh, is on shaky footing with Matt Robinson, the leader of Pro Wrestling Ace. Also in action, big match here, Fernando Diaz, one half of Diaz and, and uh, Gonzalez, got a win over one half of the tag team champions, one quarter of the four horsemen, Jeff Jarrett, lost to Fernando Diaz. That could have tag team title implications in the future. Uh, also, also in action. The Four Horsemen on a losing streak, as it, as it turns out, man. Marty Skrull, probationary member of the Four Horsemen, Triple H, a horseman affiliate at the very least, lost to Batman and Goldust in tag team action. Goldust got the win over Marty Skrull in that contest. Uh, Goldust having previously challenged for the GPW Heavyweight Championship back at the Great American Bash. Also, also in action. Kenny Omega lost to Daniel Gonzalez, Fernando Diaz's tag team partner. The tag team champions have been beaten in singles competition. Big implications there. But the horsemen did not continue their streak. At least one horseman was victor victorious. Ric Flair able to beat Rocky Romero when those two men met up in Rocky Romero's debut um, in the main event. Tokyo Cyber Squad, Kagami, Hanakimura, Taka Yakiryu met against Jack Howard and his newfound, at least temporary allies from pro wrestling ace Sergio Perez and Will Ospreay. Now, Jack Howard and Kagami are set to have another match in the immediate future. Uh, uh, Howard and Kagami have been trading wins back and forth. Howard has the Super Lucha Heavyweight Championship, which he has defended against Kagami. Kagami has the Pro Wrestling Ace Heavyweight Championship, which Jack Howard previously held. Kagami holds that title now, and he wants to keep that title. Jack Howard is set to be challenging for that title, not on this program, but in the immediate future. I've got an idea of what we're going to do this time, uh, but just, just stick with me. Mickey Williams beat, in the main event, Tatsumuto for the Battle Muscle Entertainment Heavyweight Championship, adding yet another title belt to his long list of accolades. Mickey Williams, title collector, beat Tatsumoto in the main event. We didn't watch that one, but it was assuredly the probably the worst match on the card actually by percentile yeah the worst match on the card i assume he just stabbed him a bunch and then and then he got the win 
I assume that that's what happens when Mickey Williams is sent to wrestle anyone. He, anytime we tell him, hey, we want to, we want this title belt this guy has, he's like, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. And then he just stabs people. And it's like, well, that's not exactly, you know, it works. All right. Um, now, I have done some hiring. I did hire a guy, and you'll see who that is in just a moment. Um, uh, we had a scout come back last month, and we're going to go send that scout right back out there. Find us new people. Fresh fresh faces, new blood for Grenade Pro Wrestling. Uh, we did pretty good on merch. We bought 5000 of each thing last month. And we did pretty good on merch. We sold out uh, in three categories. We've still got a few things left over. We're probably going to go ahead and buy uh, probably about 5000 more each. Yeah, we'll probably end up doing that. But right now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to start booking the card. I've got it wrote out here what I want to do on this episode. We're going to start things off hot. Six-man tag team action. The debuting third member of Kai and Tai in action here. We got Taka and the new... The new member, Men's Tao, is going to be in there along with Koichiro Togashi. They're going to be one half of this match here. On the other side of the ring, we have B. Priestley and Paul Collins, certainly. Two members, uh, two members of this team. Both of them have been tag team champions together, in fact. They are the former tag team champions. Uh, they're going to be teaming up with, well, not debuting, but... In his second match ever in the company, Rocky Romero is going to be joining them. That'll be a nice little six-man tag to start us off. After that, we would throw it to a backstage segment. Uh, uh, it's a horseman promo. Ric Flair is going to tell Jeff Jarrett that he wants him to take out the Batman tonight um, because I, apparently Ric Flair trusts that Jeff Jarrett can beat Batman. And uh, Ric Flair wants Batman to completely taken out of GPW. He wants him gone because Ric Flair wants to challenge for the GPW championship, and he can't do that if Batman is also challenging for it. Ric Flair wants to get rid of the Batman problem before he has to fight Mickey Williams. Um, now, this leaves uh, Kenny Omega kind of questioning, hey, well then who is going to team with me against Diaz and Gonzalez? And Ric Flair's not like, don't worry about it. R uh, Triple H, Hunter's going to take care of it. He's got your back. So it's going to be Kenny Omega and Rick uh, Kenny Omega and Triple H are going to be teaming up to take on uh, Diaz and Gonzalez in our second match of the evening. And I should book this better. I should actually make it a tag team match for one thing. That would be a good way to do it. I'm a little bit ahead of myself on that. So Triple H and Kenny Omega, what a tag team. <clears throat> Taking on Fernando Diaz and Daniel Gonzalez. Big match implications here. And we are going to have in the third match, let's see, uh, Perez and Osprey. Yeah, 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 that's good. I should make this a tag team match. I'm not good at making tag team matches tonight, apparently. Uh, so, this is going to be... Da, 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 Perez is going to be over here. Perez and Osprey, who have been a pretty successful tag team. A fairly successful tag team. Um, <clears throat> Perez and Osprey are going to be taking on Kiryu and Kimura. Takaya Kiryu and Hana Kimura. A, a very good tag team. They were... Okay, so last month, uh, Hanakimura was forced to submit to the rodeo stretch by uh, Sergio Perez. So that's going to make them feud a little bit here. Uh, probably not like a long-term feud, but at least in the short term, it'll set up for this match, if nothing else. Now, earlier in during the Horseman promo, uh, Marty Skrull begged Ric Flair for a chance to challenge Goldust to try to prove himself... Because he did lose to Goldust last month. So Marty Skrull wants a chance to get back at Goldust. He wants to prove that he is worthy of being in the Horseman. And Ric Flair is like, okay. So Goldust is going to be taking on Marty Skrull right here in our fourth match of the evening. Um, so after that, we have scheduled... Matt Robinson and Steve Corino taking on Jeff Bryan and Thomas Walker again. But 
as the ma as the match begins, Steve Corino's left alone. Matt Robinson doesn't come out to help his tag team partner. He doesn't come out to join the match. Steve Corino is going to be having to wrestle a handicap match against Jeff Bryan and Thomas Walker. Jeff Bryan, who for shoot apparently. Uh, he has started having a little bit of a, a feud with backstage, so we're hoping that that's, uh, that's going to draw some people, and it, it, it certainly does. So, I've got that set, and let's see. Then, we'd probably, at, at this point, we'd probably throw it to, like, a little backstage segment where, uh, Hiro Mikami, um, Kagami, and Mickey Williams all meet up, because they're going to be in the main event this evening. They're going to be in our main event. They're probably going to all meet up. And Mickey, Me, and Williams, they have previously been tag team champions, previously been tag team partners. They're going to um, be on pretty decent terms with each other. Kagami, a complete fish out of, the, out of water in this case. Not really a, aligned with either men, but definitely having to team up with them here tonight. And I'll explain that a little bit as we get towards the main event. Uh, we're going to have here, we'll have Jeff Jarrett taking on the Batman. Ric Flair wants Jeff Jarrett to destroy Batman, dismantle him, get him out of here. Break that guitar over his head as many times as you need to. Get Batman out of GPW. That's the mission that Jeff Jarrett has been sent on. Um, and uh, we'll see if he's successful. We are now approaching our main event. It's about here that I'd have a segment where Ric Flair meets up with Jack Howard and David Houston, who are going to be his tag team partners this evening. Odd couples abound this evening. Uh, as, as we go into big title matches and stuff like that, um, we're going to have all the challengers on one team. We're going to have all of the, the champions on the other. And uh, we're going to have an elimination tag team, six-man tag team match. Which should be pretty exciting, I think. Kagami and Hiromikami. And they should be on the other side there, because they're more heel-heavy? Question mark? Yeah, because, like, Houston and Howard are, are faces. Technically, Mikami is a face... Yeah, well, whatever. It doesn't matter who's on which side, I guess. But still, all the same. Champions should come out last. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's true. That's a point. That's that's a good point, my brain. Um, but they're going to come out individually. It is going to be elimination. So that should be exciting. And that's going to be our card. Uh, it's not going to draw a full 40,000, so we might not do it at... Uh, the 40,000 arena. We might do it somewhere smaller. We might do it somewhere cheaper. We could easily do 15. Easily can do 15. Can we do... You know, here we can't even do 30. Really. Really. I find that hard to believe. Um, we can do 10. Can we do 10 at 20? We could do 10 at 20. Can we do 10 at 40? No. Um, okay. We could do 10 at 20. Can we do 15 at 20? Because if we can do 15 at 20, we can. Can we do 15 at 40 somehow? No. That would make no sense. Okay. Can we do this? How low can we get this? Uh, not very low, huh? Okay. We'll run the TV ads. We'll, we'll run the TV ads. We'll, we'll do 15 at 20. This will be fine. We've got seven matches on the card. Should be a good show. I feel good about it. Let's go ahead and confirm that card, and we're going to lock ourselves into it real quick here. Should be just a fun a fun program. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll get... we got 15. I'm going to get 10,000 t-shirts. And I'll do... I'll just do 10,000 of each. Ah, what, why not? Why wouldn't I? Come get all the pictures you want. Um, these are kind of expensive. I might just, I might just go ahead and let those sell out. I might just go ahead and let those sell out this time. Goods. Sure. Get me goods. Um, 
Yeah, we gotta get rid of those busted old Batman masks. We gotta get gotta make room for the new Batman masks and the gold dust masks, um, which we're gonna be selling like hotcakes, I'm sure. Yeah, throw it all in there. Yeah, absolutely. And then we'll ten thousand, five thousand people can't have a snack, but the other the the other ten, hmm, they can have tasty snacks. In fact, it's Tasty Cakes. Tasty Cakes is is uh, is sponsoring this uh, this wrestling show. All right, sounds good. Lock it in there, and let's get into it. Yeah, grudge match between Steve Corino and Jeff Bryan, who I thought it was Jeff Jarrett. Too many Jeffs. Um, grudge match between Steve Corino and Jeff Bryan. The fans are hyped to see it happen. I'm hyped to see it happen. We'll see how it goes. So starting things off again, we have uh, Kai and Tai versus B Priestley, uh, Paul Collins, and Rocky Romero. Big implications here. Uh, Collins really trying to get his win back over Togashi. Ooh, Taka over Rocky. Okay. Kai and Tai debuting strong. Okay. Rocky Romero brought in to be a jobber to the stars. That's fine. Uh, Horseman promo. Then we have uh, Kenny and Triple H versus Fernando Diaz and Daniel Gonzalez. Uh, I'm wanting maybe the Horseman to win this, but okay. Ooh, Gonzalez with a win over Triple H. Oh, that's, that's interesting to me. Okay. Okay, so Daniel Gonzalez now has a win over Omega and Triple H. That's something, huh? Okay, Daniel Gonzalez, no one to, no one to take lightly here. Uh, now we got Sergio Perez and Will Ospreay taking on Takayaki Ryu and Hana Kimura. Uh, Kimura looking for some revenge over Perez here. Let's see if she can get it tonight, and she does. Storytelling. <laughs> That's booking. <laughs> what in the what in the world? Yeah, Hana Kimura gets a big win over Sergio Perez. Gets her win back. Gets her heat back. 50-50 booking, tremendous. All right. So Marty Skrull wanting to prove himself against Gold Dust here tonight. He wants to get that win over Gold Dust. He wants to prove he's Horseman material. Everybody says he's not. He wants to prove him wrong. Let's see if he can. Goldust is no one to... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, so he stomped on Marty's arm and then pinned him. That's the weirdest... Okay, that's the weirdest fall I've seen in a minute. But, um... Okay, so Goldust beats Marty Skrull. Skrull not able to pick up the win. Perennial loser, Marty Skrull. Uh, just there to take the fall in, horseman's ma in horseman matches, I guess. Uh, okay, so Steve Corino versus Matt Robinson was booked to happen. Robinson no-showed Steve Corino, left him cold. Jeff Bryan and Thomas Walker versus Steve Corino. Let's do this. Oh, not a good match. Jeff Bryan rolls up Steve Corino. Oh, okay, so Matt Robinson's music finally hits midway through the match. Steve Corino gets distracted. Jeff Bryan rolls Corino up, gets the pinfall with the schoolboy. Storytelling. It's all about long-term booking. Robinson and Corino. Put a pin in that one. Because, like, may, does this mean that Steve Corino is not part of Pro Wrestling Ace now? Hmm, we'll find out. Jeff Jarrett tasked with taking out the Batman. Let's see if the chosen one who was chosen for this task can do it. He's got as many guitars as he needs hidden under the ring. And he does! What? Jeff Jarrett? Oh, okay, so here's what happens. Here's what happens. Jeff Jarrett hits this person with the guitar. Hits the Batman with the guitar. The Batman gets up on groggy feet. Jarrett goes behind, sleeper hold applied, the Batman passes out, but wait, what's this? He slips out of Jarrett's grasp, the mask comes off, it wasn't Batman at all, it was some some other loser, <laughs> probably Marty Skrull, 
<laughs> Under the Batman mask. The real Batman wasn't even here tonight. He was off in Gotham doing whatever. Yeah, Batman's win-loss record completely flawless. Jeff Jarrett did not actually beat the Batman. He beat Marty Skrull dressed as the Batman. That's that's my that's what happened. <coughs> All right, now main event six man tag team action. The challengers: Ric Flair, David Houston, and Jack Howard taking on the champions: Mickey Williams, Hiro Mikami, and Kagami. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Big fight feel this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, as we approach the main event, you see now the anti-gravity kid, Mr. Covered in Gold, but not Gold Dust, David Houston making his way to the ring now. Houston, of course, the number one contender for the GPW Junior Heavyweight Championship. Got a big victory over Hiro Mikami last month. Speaking of big victories, Jack Howard, the Super Lucha Heavyweight Champion, big victories in the last few months, gearing up for his match with Kagami for the Pro Wrestling Ace Heavyweight Championship. Jack Howard, one third of this team, but here is the man many could consider to be the captain, certainly the leader of the Four Horsemen and the con number one contender for the GPW Heavyweight Championship, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, making his way to the ring now. And you have to set, you have to think there's some uh, uneasy feelings there in that camp, but no less so on the other side of the ring. As you see now, the GPW Junior Heavyweight Champion, the Fallen King, Hiro Mikami, making his way to the ring. One third of his team, the first man out here this evening. Hiro Mikami looking to defend his title in the immediate future against David Houston. But speaking of defending titles, the ace champion right here, Hiro, or sorry, Kagami, one third of the Tokyo Cyber Squad, set to take on Jack Howard in the near future. And then. We have this man, your GPW Heavyweight Champion, Red Ocean Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Battle Muscle Entertainment Heavyweight Champion, Dramatic Fight Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. The list goes on and on. Actual cannibal, Mickey Williams. Williams and Flair starting things off here this evening. The champion with a big backdrop immediately on the challenger. Flair with that chop. Williams doesn't even seem phased by it. You know, Flair has been looking to get his hands on Williams ever since their first encounter when Mickey Williams forced the Nature Boy to submit to that side headlock, that vicious side headlock. And now you see David Houston tagged in. Houston, perhaps the one man in GPW with as many titles, or at least close to as many titles, as Mickey Williams. Some would call David Houston the junior heavyweight ace of GPW. David Houston never held, has to this point, never held the GPW junior heavyweight championship. Many times he has tried to contend for the title. Many times he has not succeeded in getting that contention. You see him now double underhooking the heavyweight champion and a big falling, big uh, angel's wings there, flying splash from David Houston. You see him now stomping on the back of Mickey Williams. Williams locks him up and oh, immediately into those cannibalistic tactics, biting away at David Houston. Houston now being brain busted. Oh, 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 this is gonna get bad. Yeah, and, and here come the cavalry. Well, sort of. David Houston on the defense here. Hero Mikami wanting none of it, staying out of the ring, staying out of that action. Lots of brawling on the outside here. Mickey Williams needs to get back in the ring. 
He's the legal man. They're up to 16. Mickey Williams slides in. David Houston and Hiro Mikami now the legal men, but oh, Houston tags out to Jack Howard. And who can blame him? Oh, but but Mikami wanting to do some damage, wanting to injure the challenger. Pulls out that sickle. Jack Howard and Hiro Mikami now meeting up in a short arm clothesline from Hiro Mikami. You know, there have to be hard feelings. Over there in the red corner, Hiro Mikami and Kagami have gone back and forth for quite some time now. Kagami, the one man that Hiro Mikami can't get by, just like Hiro Mikami seems to be the one man that David Houston can't get by. And then when you throw Jack Howard into the mix, Mikami's chances of winning drastically go down. Stomping away on the back there. And now, big brain buster attempt, but no reverses there, does Mikami! Mikami tagging in Kagami, and now we're seeing champion and challenger meeting up here, double brain buster in the red corner. Not where Jack Howard wants to be here as he fights Kagami. Arm drag takeover there by Howard. Tags out to the Nature Boy. Smart wrestling. Ooh, devastating big boot and a chop there. Camel clutch. Good tag team continuity between the Hollywood hunk and the Nature Boy. Who would have thought it? Dragon screw on flare by Kagami now. These two men having never touched before this contest, I believe. Nice toe kick there. Illegal maneuver, but... Hey, the dirtiest player in the game gets away with a lot of things and he wrenches on that leg of Kagami, gearing him up for the figure four, but it's hard to hard to warm somebody up for that when you uh, you have three people to warm up for it. Flair and Hiro Mikami now squaring off. Tries for a brain buster, does Flair, but no, Mikami able to reverse it. Flair right back to his feet, though. Spear attempt by Kagami, misses, gets only air. Headlock bulldog by the nature boy. And now Flair going to tag out to Jack Howard. Howard in here, short arm, Larry Yato and an elbow drop. Flair and Howard, a surprisingly effective tag team. But, oh, Hiro Mikami, a, a very big cheater here with that sickle in play. Remember, this is elimination. So whoever can get the fall here does not win the match, but does get the man advantage. Time bomb here on the logo by Mikami. What a professional. Howard back to his feet, but only barely. The grapple here, but reversal. And Mikami waving at the crowd. Some of these people not big fans of Hiro Mikami and the supposed new leaf he's turned over. Kagami now the legal man, but Howard backing away, tagging out to Flair. Flair and Howard working on Kagami. Smart tag team wrestling here. You know, I've noticed that David Houston, they've been mostly ignoring Houston, have uh, Flair and Howard. Ever since he uh, he was tagged out, might be a little bit of a, of an injury there. They're letting Houston regroup. But I don't think the other team is wanting <laughs> wanting Flair to get any kind of advantage here. They're just using these uh, these triple team tactics on Ric Flair. Kagami tagging out to Mikami now. A lock up and a short arm elbow. Oh, I, I think Kagami might have been trying to punch Mikami there. What was he thinking? Flair able to reverse a brain buster there, but sent into the ropes now. And a, ooh, a toe kick to the midsection for Flair. Spear! Tries to break the nature boy in half. Does Kagami, Kagami now. Not even in the ring, I meant Mikami, but now David Houston in the ring, Flair and, and Houston with a big brain buster, double brain buster there, rolls him up, cover one, two, center of the ring, but no, the entire other corner is in the ring, 
and Mask Ref just allowing it to happen. We don't know who's under that mask or why he allows these things to occur. Could be anybody. Could be Marty Skrull. A lock up here. Head lock applied by Kagami. This is the move that put away Flair. And you have to think that Kaga you have to think that Mikami is a former tag team partner of Mickey Williams. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Two members of the blue corner are bloodied here. You have to think in an elimination match, that's not great. They're gonna stack him up! Oh flare! Almost driven right onto the head of David Houston. The Nature Boy, the 60-minute man, fighting Mickey Williams now. Oh, choking Mickey Williams. Kagami in there, breaks it up, and oh, oh, I thought for a second that the blue team was going to get in there and actually try to back up Flair, but no, they, they thought about it and then got right back out. And now, what do you think about this one? Jack Howard with that short arm clothesline to Mickey Williams. Howard and Williams, this one's a long time feud in the making DDT. In the early days of Grenade Pro Wrestling, these were the two men. And you'd have to say these are still two of the biggest names in GPW as Houston and Flair now get in the ring. Double brain buster send Williams to the outside. And now oh, it's breaking down. There's a chair in the ring. Short arm lariat. Package pile driver on the way to Kagami. Everybody in the ring. This is broken down. Referee needs to regain some kind of control here. Howard grappling. Oh, oh, oh Carolyn lift on the chair by Mickey Williams. Howard back to his feet, but barely. Williams tags out to the fallen king. And now it's Howard versus Mikami Mikami with the claws. Shades of Wolverine. Stomping on the groin. And now he's got the sickle out again trying to scalp Jack Howard. Jack Howard tags out to the nature boy. But wait, what's this? Gets him for it. No. Reversal there. Thought he was going for a power bomb there. But no. Headlock applied. Ric Flair. Oh, Flair throwing Mikami out. But now Flair fighting off both members of the, of the red team here as Mikami has to do the same on the outside against the blue team. Oh, my lord. Mikami with that kendo stick to the chest of Jack Howard. And now, oh, Flair kicked from behind there by Williams. Mikami maybe needs to get back in the ring. Cutting it awfully close here are these men here. Oh, drop kick to Mikami from Flair. Rick Flair now has him up. Goes behind. Goes for that knee crusher. This is how he sets up for the figure four. Drags his man away from the ropes. But Mikami, smart, back to his feet. Retreats to the corner. Tags in Williams. Flair tagged in Houston. Houston fighting off both Mikami and Williams. Williams fighting off Flair and Houston. Oh, my Lord. The tenacity of these four, of all six of these men. Sleeper hold, dragon sleeper applied now. But both members of the red team, everybody's in the ring now. Oh, it's just broken down. At double team suplex on Hero Mikami. Low blow to David Houston. Williams rolls him up, covers one, two. This could be it. No. Thought we were looking at the first fall for the evening there, but no, not 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 quite yet. Double team power bomb by Houston and Howard. Houston and Howard. Noted uh, former tag team, David Houston, up to the top rope, anti-gravity kid with the moonsault. Mickey Williams back to his feet, but only just barely, and now trading blows with Mickey Williams is David Houston. Houston, super kick to Williams, runs up, moonsault, covers him, one, Two, this could be it, the champion, the champion, the champion, the champion, Mickey Williams eliminated first. 
Mickey Williams, the first man eliminated in this six-man tag team match. The man advantage now to Flair, to Howard, and to Houston. Oh, Houston and Mikami, here we go. As Kagami has to fight it off in the center of the ring now. In the out, sorry, in the outside. A figure four to Kagami on the outside here could be a count out. I don't know why you wouldn't want to get the count out there. I don't know why you wouldn't want to. You're, both of you are not legal men. You could get the count out over Kagami there. I don't know why you wouldn't do that, but for whatever reason. I guess Flair was the legal man. I didn't think about it. I didn't think Flair was the legal man, but now you see Flair getting... Oh! Houston holding Kagami, and he tags in Howard. Low drop kick to Kagami from Flair. The tag team continuity from these three men. I guess that huddle Ric Flair orchestrated backstage really paid off. Neither man tried to save Jack Howard. That's a little strange. That's a little strange. Dragon Sleeper applied to Houston, but he's not the legal man. Jack Howard is. He's calling for something here. This could be a big... No, no, no. Going for the German, I think, there. But that jawbreaker reversed it. Mickey Williams still hanging around outside there. I don't like him being on the outside of that. Just waiting out there. Menacingly. Hiro Mikami, the legal man. Hiro Mikami and Jack Howard, your legal men right now. Hard to keep track of it because of how many... Just, oh my lord, what is he doing? He breathes fire. What is he, some kind of dragon? A low blow now to Howard, the fallen king, pulling him into position. Covers him up, but he's got to know that's too close to the opposite corner there. Houston makes the save, and now it's a schmoz again. Everybody's just in the ring fighting. Oh, Flair stabbed in the head now with that fork by Hiro Mikami. All the members of the blue team bleeding profusely now. And now, Jack Howard at the mercy of hero Mikami. Mikami gets him up, back grapple, but snap mirror reversal there from Howard. Howard tags out to Flair. Big boot! And now the nature boy and the Hollywood hunk just... Going behind here, but oh, Mikami able to fight it off. And now he waves at the fans, goes and tags to Kagami, just showboating. And you see Flair, oh lord, bleeding even more than I think either of his, uh, his partners are. Flair whips Kagami into the ropes, shoulder tackle there, goes for that figure four. He's got it locked in, the figure four. Yes, Kagami taps out. Hiro Mikami, the only man in his team left in this match. And a figure four applied to the Fallen King. Could he be? Could it be? Figure four for the submission attempt here. No, Kagami able to fight out of it. Tags out to Houston. Does Ric Flair. Ric Flair allowing David Houston perhaps the chance to be the man to eliminate Kagami, sorry, Mikami here. To the top rope, all of these big, big high-risk offenses from David Houston. Houston, tilt a whirl all the, around the world. Head scissors there. Picks him up. Mikami fighting from underneath. Not what you would expect, but it is what you are seeing here this evening. Hero Mikami, back switch. No, Houston now getting cannibalized by the Fallen King. Your junior heavyweight champion now at the mercy of these three men, Ric Flair. Not even the legal man applies that figure four. Low blow there. Mikami covering Houston, but they're definitely not going to let that happen. They're definitely not going to let that happen. Big German suplex one. Two, this could be it. No. Mikami able to kick out. Shockingly. And now Flair tagged in by Houston. Houston letting Flair do this. 
front chancery and you know, you have to think Hiro Mikami he doesn't have a lot left in the tank. What does this mean? David Houston tagging out to someone else. And you see Hiro Mikami fighting with almost Herculean strength. And of course, the underhanded tactics. Stabbing Ric Flair in the neck with that fork. And now, stabbing. Jack Howard in the head, and Flair has the figure four on. He's got it, and Mikami forced to tap out. A clean sweep for the challengers here this evening. Ric Flair single-handedly beating Hiro Mikami and Kagami. What a contest. What a match. Holy crap. That was... I enjoyed that. I thought that was good. I enjoyed that. Only 80%, but we did sell out. It'll still probably be a, a success, or at least at least a success. A great success. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we lost some money. We lost some money. That's fine. I feel good about that. Next up, we've got an uh, we've got the October show. Ah, oh, Bill Bullock's back. Ah, oh, Mickey Williams wants more money. Ah, oh, Jeff Jarrett wants more money. Oh, we were in a magazine. That's nice. All right, Jarrett and Williams want more money. I'll go ahead and give that to them on 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 camera here, real quick. Oh man, what a sh what a show! What a show! What a season! What a season! Uh, Mickey Williams, man, you are not making any money, but you've been doing really good for five years. I. Th Mickey Williams has been doing very good for five years. I'm giving him a big raise. He's held the title for five years. Um, Bill Bullock was back. Jeff Jarrett wanted more money. Um, yeah, Jarrett, you lost your last one. You're a tag team champion, so I'll, I will give you more money. But you did lose your last match. Oh wait, no, you beat Batman. You beat Batman. You've earned. You've earned that raise. You beat Batman. Well, you beat, you beat Batman in air quotes. It wasn't the real Batman. It was Marty Skrull dressed as Batman, but still. <coughs> All right, I feel pretty good about this. Um, let me see. How many guys do we have? We have 29. So we'll, if we hire one more guy, we'll have 30 people on, on contract, which seems like a good thing. Um, I'm feeling really good about this so far. Uh if you guys have any like any suggestions on stuff you'd like to see, let me know in the comments because I am taking suggestions. I'm willing to to look into some more people. I've got a big extravaganza. Well, I've got a I've got a tournament planned for uh, for December. Uh, we're gonna try to crown our six man tag team champions. We've been trying to do it for a little bit. Um, I but we're gonna try to get our six man tag team championships crowned. Um, but that's a couple of months away. Right now, we are gearing up for some title match seasons going on. Uh, but it should be should be good stuff, man. I'm 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 excited, and I hope you guys are too to see how things plan out from here. Uh, if you're having a good time, do all the YouTube stuff. You know what it is like. Comment and subscribe. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the episode off right here. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.